Howdy, howdy, howdy. Quick milk call here. This is from uh, Fort Worth. Oh. <laughs> Good, cause I need, I need some. Our soap saver. Yes, deodorant. Our soap saver. Soap. <laughs> yes, Doctor Squash soap. Pretty neat. Okay. That's <clears throat> good stuff. This is uh, from Diecast HQ. Awesome Diecast. Let's see. Let's do this one first. HO scale. HO scale. Modern day equipment. Oh my god. Really? What do we got? Surprising that I had to buy it at CQ, right? Which is what? Uh, Swedish? Is that Swedish? I had to buy Swedish in order to get American farm equipment. Modern day farm equipment. And a forge wagon and a tractor with a lift or um, loader. Come on. Thunder <clears throat> combine. With the wheat head. Oh, I bought two of those. With the tillers. Two combines with the wheat head. So two combines. Wagon and a tr uh, loader, four wheel drive tractor. Wait, what was this? Two, two, one, one. Two. Oh, two, two, one, one. Two, two, one, one. I know I complained on wherever I complained because it's set for. Uh, is it set for New York City? Ladder 10. I couldn't pass it up. It still looks nice. Ladder truck. What I got two more combines, which are the modern day ones uh, T670i, yeah, T670i John Deere. Whereas, uh, okay, that those are the sick use, 
That's the Ertl. Let's pull the ponies out real quick. push up and then pull it out. It's got two it's got two two holes there with uh, those mechanisms there. Put them in the holes up on top and then you push and push down. And you just gotta remember not to you know, Yeah, I don't see how they're. I don't see how they see going down the road if it's all the way up. <laughs> Be like that going down the highway, so they can at least see, and then clear uh, flat, uh, signposts and stuff. But let's take a look, a quick look at these. Okay, we'll pop the header off. I think the headers are about the same. Yeah. Okay, so right off the bat, the Ertl's, the Ertl uh, ladder twists, turns, so you can be hauling, you know, on the on the trailer, or you have it out. That one doesn't move at all. Tires are bigger on the CQ header. The feeder house is more robust. That does go up. Not as much, I don't think. Yeah, that definitely goes up higher. It's got a beacon up here. Now, the grab irons are in a package on the table. Arm. Arm, arm, arm. Looks like it comes a little further out on this one, on the CQ. What I like about the Ertl, the grain bin is open. That's the grain bin there. The wheat would come up in here and then fill up. That one's covered. Got a little different configuration on motors. There'll be a beacon there. Oh, they got a tank there. That one doesn't. There's a grab handle in the in the box. Now these, those are different. Those are new. I think there's something that, and then the thrasher. Oh, it's underneath, whereas that one's is right out the back end. And then there's slow moving vehicle, but not on that one. But then the, the, yeah. But I think there's a difference. These are different models, I think. This is, it says T670i. This says the maximizer. Um, wow, I can't read that. I can't read that what it says there. Can we read it? Does it say T670i? Can't tell for sure. So let's see, wheelbase. Wheelbase is probably about the same. Bigger tires on the CQ, definitely bigger. All all the way around bigger. Now, I will say, you know, that's a little more prominent over here on the Ertl. See, it doesn't stand out as much as that does. There's a hole that goes clear up on top. That goes right there. So that one goes clear up here someplace. The other side. There's just more detail on the Ertl. My eyes are shot. I can't read that. Let's, maybe the glasses will help. Oh, I know. I know what. And I lost it. Hmm. I 
had a magnifying over here, magnifying card, but I can't find it now. So, this is a this is a recent buy. It's got the lights on top. These there's there's three each. See them? Yeah, right there. Three there and three there. And there's they got them here. They got a beacon there. There's a beacon on the back. Right there. This turtle don't have that. I think. With that covered up, it just looks like it's wider. Like I said, the arm comes out farther. Just a bit. Maybe, I don't know, eighth of an inch. So, slowly building my custom cutting crew up, plus my farm equipment. You know what? I know it's way past my bedtime. Everything's snug. Well, that's not good. I get this out of here, it may not go back in. Well, we know it. We know what it dumps from the side. Probably dumps from the other side too, and I'm assuming that just goes up and down. That will not come out of there. They don't want to come out. How about this? I think I'll pull the fire truck out. This will be another one I won't, won't want to come out of the box. Oh. Hey, maybe that's what happened. Maybe I'll try that. Clips, plastic clips that are me up the wall right now. All right, let's see here. Whoa, dang good articulation. It hits, it hits the almost hits. That's really good articulation. Oops, can't see the articulation, can we? See, look at the articulation. It's pretty good. Freewheeling. Got lights, we got hazard, warning, low, slow. Just a hook up there, which would 
took this. That guy just kind of keeps it attached. That's pretty dang good going down the going down the road. Let's see. Going down the road. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button. Great. Now I gotta make a movie. That's pretty good. And that folds down and that folds down. And then you start going tilling. Hey, wait a minute, is it, let's see this, nope, they don't, they don't fold up, they don't, okay, well, I already know what I need people to do for me, I need people to, somebody to 3D print the plow, and 3D print the auger, or the, 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 the turbo tiller, That is a lot of, a lot of uh, metal on there. I do like the fact that it folds up on both sides, though, just like the real one. But there should be some plows in there, I would think. Some, some discs, but I guess not. Well, that's a pretty big area there. Technically, there should be some in there, right through the middle, because that's a really wide area, at least two of them, you know. And, of course, they don't have the other arms that fold down. There's a, should be a piece. Hey, wait a minute, what's that? There's a hydraulic in there. Why is there a hydraulic in there? That goes up and that goes up. Why is there a hydraulic? There's a hydraulic in here, right here. Is that what, oh, is that what it pivots on? Ah, that's what pivots. Okay. That's where it pivots. You know they got the hydraulics. It's got a pivot on something, and that's what it pivots on, is that steel, that steel pin. I really like that. Nice. Very nice. So they had one side turned up. Okay. So like I said, that's... I got some equipment to make. Some trailer now. say that tractor and forge wagon oh so apparently the forge wagon tips so and then the door opens up the door opens up but it probably tips from either side so okay <clears throat> Was attached, wasn't it? Yep. Come on. There.